G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography. This tutorial was inspired by a post that I saw in the Easy Way Photography Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, jump over to Facebook and search for Easy Way Photography. So what we have here, I've got these gnarly kind of tree branches here and I want to set the moon in behind those to make kind of a creepy looking spooky full moon behind the tree branches if you know what I mean. Here's my full moon, captured quite a while ago and what we'll do is we'll drop that in behind and I want to show you a really cool technique for easily placing the moon behind the tree branches. So first of all let's copy and paste that over, command or control A to select Command or Control C to copy. Click back on our tree branch image. Command or Control V to paste on top. Now what we're going to do, I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Give me some room to show you exactly how cool this is. So I've just pressed Command or Control T for free transform. If I hold down Shift, that will just constrain the proportions, allowing that moon to stay nice and round. Click OK like so. Now what we're going to do is head into Blend If. Now if you haven't heard of or haven't used Blend If before, there is a full step-by-step -step tutorial in the Easy Way Photography Ultimate Workflow Bundle at www.easywayphotography.com.au. Now we're just going to double click on the blank space to the right of where it says layer one here, the moon layer. This is Blend If, and all I'm going to do is grab the underlying layer slider on the black side there, on the dark side, move that till my trees are visible. Yeah, something like that. Maybe I don't want all those light branches there. And then hold down Option and Alt, and we'll split this off to get a feather. Okay, just balance that out, something like that, click OK and check this out. If we grab the move tool, we can now place that moon wherever we think might look the coolest and it will be placed behind those tree branches. Now we might need to do a little bit of fussing and mucking around just to darken down some of those lighter tree branches there. We could just add a curves layer on top there. And just bring that in like that. Happy days, absolutely beautiful. And can you see how we've managed to drop that moon behind those tree branches with not too much fuss whatsoever. I like it there. You can just grab the crop tool. This kind of an abstract, maybe a square crop might look best. We can throw it on the rule of thirds. Hey, how about that? Click OK. And we have something pretty cool that started out as not much at all. If you're interested in a complete workflow for landscape photography, which specializes in teaching you how to effortlessly transform any ordinary photos into something much more extraordinary, check out easywayphotography.com.au. Thanks again for watching along. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.